This is a wrap up after uh, seven speakers and one rapper. And uh, that's quite a, quite a uh, agenda for one afternoon. Uh, could we have all the, uh, the speakers and the organizers on the stage, please, for the, uh, the gift giving ceremony? Please come on stage, everyone. This is known as a photo op for the uh, <laughs> camera. So these are our organizers, so many of them, and our wonderful speakers. I hope somebody has the presence. Missing one. Who has the presence? <laughs> Do you have them? Oh well, please pass them out. Yes. So again, thank you all very much for your presentation. It was so kind of you to donate your time this afternoon. And I, I'm sure you've inspired the audience with uh, the desire to, to change the world in a, in a small way or a large way. So thank you very much. Thank you. Now, there is one final two minute segment. But well, it doesn't include you, though. <laughs> you can... Well, thank you very much. Can we have the final slide? All I want to say is that when I think of Science for Peace, what I think of, and this is not necessarily the view of other members of Science for Peace, I think of scientific expertise plus social power. As our last speaker, M.A. May, pointed out, um, scientific expertise by itself does not bring solutions. It is a way of understanding the problems and of thinking through technocratic solutions. But without social power, there is really no resolution. And social power only comes through social movements, organization, astute strategy, as we've heard today from various speakers. So if anyone is interested in getting involved, um, if you're a student, then there are um, Science for Peace campus groups at Ryerson and uh, University of Toronto, and you can get hold of them through the addresses provided here. If you are some, some other campus, start your own Science for Peace, and we'll be very happy to support you in that. And if you're interested in nuclear weapons or nonviolence in civil society, or propaganda, terrorism, and security, please join the working groups of Science for Peace. They generally meet at the University of Toronto once a month. And if you go on to our website at scienceforpeace.ca, you can see what, what uh, working groups there are. And you're very welcome to join, so please do. So with those words, I'll bring the uh, forum to a close. Thank you very much. Yeah.